Hello kids. Welcome to the maths class. Today we will do the topic ordinal numbers. The main objective of today's learning is to understand what are ordinal numbers and how to do them on copy. The numbers are divided into two parts. The number 1 is cardinal numbers and another one is ordinal numbers. A cardinal number is a number that says how many of something there are such as 1 2 3 4 5 etc. An ordinal number is a number that tells the position of something in a list such as first second third fourth fifth etc now let us understand the difference between cardinal and ordinal numbers through this video look at these colorful and bright footballs can you tell how many footballs are there in total let us count there are 1 2 3 4 5 Do you know these counting numbers are also called the cardinal numbers? Yes, the cardinal numbers tells us the quantity. Hence, there are five footballs in total. Are you ready for the most excited race ever? Come on, let us find who is the fastest among all. Look at the red ball. Red ball has come first. the blue ball has come second the green one has come third the yellow one has come fourth and the orange one has come fifth in the race look in order to tell the order of things we have used the ordinal numbers yes the ordinal numbers shows the position or order of things Now let us take an another example to understand the concept. Can you tell me how many letters are there in the word butterfly? Let's count them. There are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. So there are 9 letters in the word butterfly. Now can you tell the position of L in the word butterfly since L is at the number 8 so L is at 8th position in the word butterfly and likewise the position of other letters are also shown now let us practice ordinal numbers on copy i have divided this page into three parts in first part we will write the cardinal numbers in second part we will write the ordinal number and in third part we will write the short form of an ordinal number now the cardinal number is 1 and the ordinal number of 1 is first so spell first after me f i r s t first and the short form of first is first we will write 1 then we will write last two letters of ordinal number that is st in the next box and the next cardinal number is 2 and the ordinal number of 2 is second so spell second after me s e c o n d second and the short form of second is again we will write 2 and the last two letters of the ordinal number that is nd in the next box next is 3 and the ordinal number of 3 is third t h i r d third again the short form first we will write 3 and we will write last two letters of ordinal number that is r d Now next cardinal number is 4 and the ordinal number of 4 is 4th F O U R T H 4th and the short form of 4th is first we will write 
then we will write last two letters that is T and H. Now next is 5 and the ordinal number of 5 is 5th. F I F T H 5th. And again the short form is first we will write 5 then last two letters that is T H. Next is 6 and the ordinal number of 6 is 6th. First we will write spellings of 6 then we will add T H and again here we will write 6 then last two letters T H next is 7 and the ordinal number of 7 is 7th S E V E N T H 7th and the short form is again we will write 7 and the last two letters that is T H after 7 what comes 8 so we will write 8 under cardinal number and the ordinal number of 8 is 8th E I G H T H 8th and the short form is 8 and the last two letters that is T H now after 8 the next cardinal number is 9 and the ordinal number of 9 is 9th N I N T H 9th and the short form is 9 and the last two letters of ordinal number that is T H now next cardinal number after 9 is 10 and its ordinal number is Tenth, T E N T H, tenth, and its short form again. First, we will write ten, and the last two letters that is T H, tenth. Now, let us do few examples of ordinal numbers on copy. Now, let us read the first exercise. Tick the third object. First we have to count the objects then we have to tick the third object. So count with me first, second, third. Now this is the third object so we will tick this object. Now let's read an, another exercise. Circle the second object. Again we will count the objects and we will circle the second object. First, second. Now this is the second object. So we will circle it. Now, now let's read the third exercise. Cross the first and tick the fourth object. Again we will count the objects first. And we will cross the first one. And we will tick the fourth object. So let's count it first. Now this is the first object. So we will cross this object. Second, third and fourth. Now this is the fourth object. And what we have to do with the fourth object? We have to tick the fourth object. So we will tick the fourth object. Clear everyone? Now let us recall what we have learned today. First, we have learnt the difference between cardinal and ordinal numbers. And then we have learnt how to write ordinal numbers in words. So kids, I hope you all understood the concept of ordinal numbers. So take out your maths book and snap homework and do the related sums. Thank you.